Hey everyone, it is Jen. I am wanting to do a quick impromptu Facebook Live and I'm going to upload this to my YouTube channel as well, which is youtube.com slash crystal guidance. Basically, I just got in a new pendant and it's really inspired me to shoot a video of why you should always make sure of what you're buying before you buy it and to not always trust the seller. They don't always know what they have. All right, like I said, I literally, the mail just came in for this. So the seller, and I bought this from eBay, and most of the stuff she had was listed correctly, but she had this listed as Garnet and purple labradorite because you notice the down this stone is flashing well that's not at all the case let me try and hold it up and you could see there's no transparency the coloring is not at all correct for labradorite now just for comparison i actually do have almost identical size a purple labradorite. You notice the different coloring and the purple comes through is the flash of color. It's being a little difficult. Come on. There you are. It's in there. It's just being shy with this lighting up. Oh, there we go. There's a purple labradorite. Notice the difference. I mean, it's a huge difference, but the seller didn't know that. And so I ended up getting a ruby, which is awesome. I knew what I was getting. So it's important to know. Now let me show you some other examples of things that I have actually bought some of them before I knew better. I bought from a reputable eBay seller. I mean, I uh, World of Gaia. Trust that seller vast majority, I mean, and she sells in bulk, the vast majority she has is correct. I bought this as Astrophilite. It is Arfedsonite. I do have a video on YouTube that shows the difference between Astrophilite and Arfedsonite. But I didn't know, and I turned around before knowing better, and I sold them for the name that I bought them as. And I feel bad that I sold it incorrectly. But now I know better and I've been able to teach others so they can know better and know what to look for. Uh, let's do this one next. This little scally was not listed. It was from one of my wholesale vendors. And I wasn't 100% sure. I was pretty sure I knew what it was. But I asked the gentleman that's in charge of this massive company. And I said, what stone is that? And he told me it was prenite. I'm like, okay, well, prenite, that'd be cool. I had a feeling it was aquamarine. Let me bring you down to these so you can see the difference. Chris, you're right. Most stuff is incorrect. And yes, I do know that that's our fed tonight, as I mentioned. I have a whole video that is shows exactly the difference and tells the difference of them. So, okay, back to this little one. So this is my little skull next to an aquamarine. You can tell they're identical. It does look pretty similar to prenite. This is... The aquamarine next to a prenite. The coloring is pretty similar, but there are definitely your differences. And this is a bigger prenite. So to make sure, even though I was easily a 95% positive that I had an aquamarine on my hands, you know, I trust my vendor. So I used a scratch test kit, which proved hardness wise that this is indeed an aquamarine. So he didn't have it right. You can't always trust it. Do your research. Utilize tools if you have them for checking the hardness and things like that, if you can. Or ask people. Uh, the Crystal Knowledge Group on Facebook. We request that you post only five ID requests per week, just so it's not overwhelmed. 
but we'd be happy to help you. Before you buy it, post it and say, hey, is this actually this, if you're not sure. Another one I bought, and I bought this one from somebody who sold on Facebook. They had this listed as Dreamy Amethyst. The photo was not a good photo, and I flipped at the price. This is Charo White. Huge price difference between Charo White and Amethyst. Now, Dreamy Amethyst is also chevron amethyst so you could see side by side the difference between the two again big difference i totally scored with this baby because the seller did not know what they had chris yes um heat treated amethyst versus real citrine natural citrine i prefer heat treated citrine and natural citrine personally and yes i will eventually be doing a video with those as well all right now to show you that all of us start at the beginning when i first really started diving into learning and collecting crystals so we're talking this is back in 1997-1998. I bought this little beauty. I bought it from a place that sold crystals. It wasn't necessarily a crystal shop. It was um, nature's niche. So a little nature area that had crystals and stuff that was up at the mall. And most of their stuff was listed correctly because I actually had them separated out in my little box at the beginning. This was sold as a moonstone. That looked like a moonstone to any of you guys. I did not know better. I was still super noob. I was in the frame of mind that I was going to have at least one of every crystal. And so I was so tickled with my moonstone. <laughs> However, talk about a score. It's actually, if you'll notice, it is a blue topaz. It took me years to figure that out because even then I wasn't sure if I had a topaz or if I had an aquamarine. But again, scratch tests help with that and paying a bit more attention to coloring. It's a matter of learning. I visually learned, so seeing side by side. So, I mean, it's nothing near a moonstone. Immerse yourself in the different crystals. Research it if you don't know. Google is a good place, but not always are you going to find the correct information on there. Most of it's going to be right, but not all of it. Our Fedsonite, almost, almost all of the Strophilite that's listed even on Google is actually our Fedsonite. So you can't always trust Google, but it is an excellent place to start. Do your research. Don't always trust the seller because they don't always know exactly what they have. The majority of the time, they're relaying what their supplier told them. So if they were told incorrectly, they're going to pass that along incorrectly and it's going to go down the chain from there. So that is why I have been doing weekly or almost weekly crystal comparison videos on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash crystal guidance, to really show and tell the difference of ones that look similar. I will be doing ones that have similar names. So like Dragonstone versus Septarian, which is also known as a Dragonstone. So make sure to go subscribe over there. It's all free. It's something that I want to teach you guys to visually see and learn the differences. So if a seller has something amazing listed for something that's not quite as amazing, you guys can get a total score. Or on the flip side of that, you're not buying something that is actually crap, for lack of a better word. Um, like there is a lower grade Charo white that's actually a very low grade fluorite. So things like that. I want to help teach you guys that. Now I do not do crystal IDs. 
Um, it's something that I'm kind of considering for my Facebook tribe group having a post every now and then. Um, the group, if you're interested, it is a paid group. It is Crystal Guidance and Healing Tribe. It's only $11 a month, and we're doing a healing today. Whoop, whoop. So um, I'm reading my comments on here. Uh, Chris says, we have to search for generic names for trademark stones to avoid unnecessary markup prices when available. Yes, yes, yes. Um, actually, there is. I'm hoping she still has it. Um, Christy Hugs has a book out that you can find on Amazon that um, I think it's like new names for old stones or something like that. I will post a picture and the exact name because I actually have it. And the entire book is the trade names and what it is exactly. So you're going to find that Indigo Gabro that's Mystic Merlinite. You're going to see that Atlantisite is Serpentine and Stitchtite. Things like that. So, and yeah, I will definitely be going into more of that. Like I said, I'm getting the videos up just about weekly right now. And I really hope they help teach you guys to visually see the differences and learn a bit more on how to tell them apart. So, I think that's probably about all I wanted to show you guys. Like I said, it, sometimes you can totally score. I mean, Labradorite's my absolute favorite stone, but... I'm so tickled to find a ruby. A ruby and garnet together, man. This is going to be my sweet little powerhouse. So, all right. Um, again, go subscribe. Go check out the crystal comparisons that I already have up on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash crystal guidance. I will probably be doing another one next week, but I haven't decided what yet. Rhodonite and Rhodochrosite is coming up in the near future. That one I can tell you for sure. So, all right, guys, I'm going to head out of here and start getting ready since I have a full chakra healing for my tribe group in uh, about an hour and a half. So, all right, I love you guys. I hope this helps, and I will talk to you soon. Much love and crystal blessings.